All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about chapter six now, so we're moving on. And the first question being asked of us in chapter six is, identify the degree of a monomial. All right, so before we can answer this question, we have to know what a monomial is. All right, so let's make a little table, okay, of what a monomial, a binomial, a trinomial, and a polynomial are. Okay, so a monomial, that's simply just going to be one term. So here we have 2x. Notice how we have one term here. This would be considered a monomial. Okay, well, if we have two terms, so let's say we have 2x plus 3y, well, this would be considered a binomial. Binomial. And if we have three terms, well, that's just simply going to be called a trinomial. So plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 2. This is a trinomial. Okay, a trinomial. And then if we have more than three terms, okay, anything more than three terms, we call a polynomial. All right, so let's say we had 4x cubed plus 2x squared plus x plus 1. All right, this would be called a polynomial. Okay. So for one term, we have monomial, two terms, binomial, three terms, a trinomial. And if we have um, four terms or more, okay, that's going to be called a polynomial. All right, so let's go into the question. It says identify the degree of the mono monomial. All right, so let's look at number one. So number one, we'll use the example here. So example one, x to the fifth. Now, we're trying to find the degree, all right? So what that's telling us is to look on the variable, okay, the variable, that's important, and what is the exponent? So here my variable is x, right? I really have a one here, okay? But we're looking at the variable exponent, which is five. So my degree here, my degree, is going to be five, all right, degree of five. Simple as that. Let's try another one. Now remember, identify the degree of a monomial. We're only looking at the degree okay, of the variable. That's it. So for example, if I gave you this, and let's just say 13, right? What is going to be the degree of that monomial? Well, remember, we're looking at the variable here, all right? Not our coefficient, the variable. So, as a result, we have no variable here, all right? So the degree here, the degree is zero, okay? So the degree here would be zero. All right, let's move on to another problem. What if I had, so we have four, a, second, and then e. Now remember, we're only looking at the exponents, right, on the variables, okay? We know that we have an exponent of two here. We have an exponent of one, right, on this b. Well, what do you think the degree is gonna be here? Well, it's very simple. You're just gonna add, right, the exponents on those variables. So two plus one, so the degree here, Is three. All right, so this has a degree of three. And again, this is a monomial. And let's try one more. So number four, we can have, let's say, x 
cube by the fourth. And then we'll just add z. Okay, remember we're only looking at the exponents on the variables. So notice we don't have a variable here, but we know that there's really a one. So again, all you have to do is add these. So three plus four is seven plus one. This monomial is going to have a degree of 8. Okay, so degree is 8. Alright, so that's how you identify the degrees of a monomial.